here we see a, a spider house or a spider web. The spider opens up the door, mm -hmm. closes the door. This thing is huge. Its legs are thick. We're at the mouth of the cave. It's complete darkness in here. Good morning from Lençóis, Brazil. We are leaving this place <laughs> and I think we're gonna go to a waterfall today on our way to our next destination. We're starting our day at the same place that we were yesterday. We just loved it and had to come back. I'm getting a tapioca. I'm getting a guayaba juice, a guava juice. I'm getting a mango juice and we got two cafe con leches and I got a egg banana and cheese crepe. They use bananas here on a lot of things and I am loving it. I've been ordering it all the time lately. Mm -hmm. If you weren't from Brazil, you'd probably never think to put cheese and banana together. But Lindsay decided to start getting these cheese and banana mixtures that actually seem kind of popular around here. There's an eggshell there. Yeah, the banana just adds like a good sweet flavor, but not too sweet. I like it. Egg, cheese, and presunto, which is ham, tapioca. So on the agenda for today, we are going to Gruta do Lapau, and then we're going to try to hike to the top of Moro do Painacio. We heard it might be closed due to COVID, but they might be letting a certain amount of people in. We're not really sure, but we're going to check it out. So we got the GPS all ready to go. It says the first place is only about a nine minute drive away, and then we walk to it. Hopefully that's the case. is doing a great job keeping us safe <laughs> and our car safe. Okay, sadly Google Maps possibly failed us. There were no signs for this cave and so we're kind of giving up. Now we're going to try to go to a cave that is called Lapa Doce Cave and it's about 40 minutes away. It's kind of on our way to where we're going a little bit so we figured we should give it a try. Brazil is people in Brazil are not afraid to pass at all. It's almost like it's a game to them. They weave in and out even on hills where you can't see if a car is coming at you. We're too nervous to do that but here it's just normal. Driving culture is different everywhere you go and in Brazil that is something we've noticed more than anything is the passing. It is constant and right now we have about six big rigs in front of us. We're going like no miles per hour, <laughs> no kilometers per hour, but I don't think we're gonna be able to pass all that. But if we were Brazilian, we would know how to just pass all of those, even on a solid line here. A Brazilian would weave in and out until they got past these trucks. Even sometimes you'll see two cars passing, even though the second car can't see what's coming in ahead of them. So it's definitely dangerous, but they seem to know what they're doing. All right, good news. We have a sign here for Gruta Lapa Dulce. It's not much of a sign, but it's something. It's more than we usually get. <laughs> and 
and a dirt road again. Ruta Lapa Dulce. Not many people here. What's up, that guy? Just a dog and some bikes. Greeted by a friend. Hello. Good boy. Oh. So for this tour, you have to have a guide in order to go to the cave. So this is super easy to find, and luckily they have a local guide who speaks English, which will be really nice so that we can get some information about the cave. This is what we're about to see. We decided that we're going to do it. We looked at some pictures. It looks pretty cool. You're not allowed to go in sandals like this. So we have to go back to the car and get some shoes. I think they're gonna give us a helmet, a flashlight, and a guide. The whole thing is 80, so 80, 80 real for two people. So not really that bad for your own private guide. And the whole thing will take an hour and a half. Here are limestone and you can see that it was cut away you can see the layers because it used to be a river so you can see the different layers formed by the different layers of the river and then the whole thing collapsed okay. here we see a, a spider house or a spider web it's a big spider that built this one by itself the spider used the, the web and make a hole with like 25 centimeters deep and make oh. this crazy door. Wow. <laughs> touch, touch to feel this one. Touch to. What? A spider <laughs> built that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very sturdy. Feel that, Alex. That's crazy. So whenever you see that, that means a spider goes in, it mm. built a home. Yeah. So the spider opens up the door, mm -hmm. closes the yeah. door. So in Brazil, they have spiders that build doors. As you can see it's very green here and that's because we are visiting this region during the rainy season which goes from October to February so during the dry season it's usually white or yellow there's no green this is a beehive this little cone here you can see all the little bees going into it normally they are big and yellow termite nest again. They build this out of the tree. They put it in their mouth and they transport it to compile a nest. It's very interesting being here because it is so different than everywhere else in Brazil. It's not really what most people think of when they think of Brazil, seeing places like this. And it's nothing like any of the other places that we've been yet. We're loving it. We love nature. Watch out for the tree. We just found a tarantula. Looks like it's eating a mushroom or something. Wow. Yeah. This can go there. Can you see it? You can go this one is not, not poison. No. No. This thing is huge. Its yeah. legs are thick and it's on top of this fungus. Those are thick and sharp. Wouldn't want to land on that. They go all the way up. You can't even see the end of the tree. So this tree looks like a cactus with its thorns and it's filled with water. But it's a tree, it's not a cactus. And it's huge. It's as tall as the palm trees. 
We're not even at the cave yet and we've seen some amazing things. We're gonna see today in the cave. Yeah. We are approaching the cave right now. You can feel the temperature just dropped. It shifted just within a few steps of us going down. You can hear beautiful birds chirping. We just saw a lizard. There's no one else here, it's just us. We're going into the cave now. You see him? We're hearing bats. Big flashlights to go in this cave. It's complete darkness in here. And that's the beginning of the cave where we just came from. And then complete darkness. Calcium. Calcium? Yeah, the crystal is by calcium. That's beautiful. Yeah, small, sparkly. That's so pretty. Yeah. Now in December, January, when rain again, we see the water dripping. And each dripping brings calcium and sediment here and still growing up. Those are stalactites. The ones on the top are stalactites, stalagmites are on the bottom. Right Can't tell in video, but that is huge. How long, how big are those? Do you know? How many like, meters? I can see four or five meters. Four or five meters. Yes. Wow. And then we have the ground over here. So like mites. Crazy formations. It looks like a cactus. Yeah. So that point is dripping right now and it's constantly building this one below. It's constantly being built taller. Look at this one. Does my camera capture any of that? What do you think, Alex? Are you filming? Yeah. This is extremely cool. I know we were just in a cave the other day, but a water cave is much different than a dry cave like this. This is huge. And these stalagmites and stalactites, they keep changing. They have all these different forms they take. It's a lot more down here than you would expect.
here you can see a little tub, like a bathtub, that's water in there. A little pool here. These are being formed right now. Do you know how old something like this would be? No, for, but for grow one centimeter, like 30 years, 40 years. Oh, wow. One centimeter for yeah. 30 years. Mm -hmm. And they're coming from these up here. here. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> old lady in a rocking chair. That's pretty good. <laughs> So this is the third largest cave in Brazil, and it covers 42 kilometers. It's another way, three kilometers. Wow. Where is it dripping from? ago and they found bones of a saber-toothed tiger among other bones prehistoric armadillos Arm horses and they found out they're about 25,000 years old but those are parts of this cave that we will not get to see this is a stalactite that fell wow it's so smooth yeah like so So they limit the amount of people that can come in here per day. At the moment it's 250. They do this because otherwise the temperature will change a lot in the cave by having too many visitors, so they have to regulate it. There's a monster on the wall. <laughs> He's coming. Yeah. A sloth? sloth. Awesome. Yeah. A sloth? <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's a bone of a sloth? Yeah. Like this? That would be a huge sloth, though. Yeah, so this, this, this was like a 2.5 meters. But here, in some caves, we have bones of sloths like 5 and 6 meters. The big of the animal. The, uh, the so this is a giant sloth here. That is just a knee. Oh my gosh. And they're still excavating. Yeah. Our first sign of life. I want you back. A cricket with huge at antenna. Night, at night come out. Oh. That's right, 1.5 kilometers. And here's the exit. After probably about an hour in the cave. We're coming out. It is. That's what we just came out of. Looks like nothing from up here. Like we're in another world. It's a whole other world beneath there. great and that was one of the times where it was really important to have a guide that spoke English because we learned a ton of information about that cave that we would have never known otherwise. So that was an amazing tour. What's crazy about that cave is that we only walked through about one kilometer of it and it is actually 42 kilometers in size. So there are probably a lot of parts in it that have never been discovered yet. It's so massive, it's hard to fathom how big it actually is. Hard to believe a river carved that out. As Lindsay said, we just saw one 
tiny fraction of it and still we were down there for about an hour maybe even longer than an hour and it just seemed <laughs> immense in a cave nearby that we didn't go to there are some cave paintings and they're estimated to be around 12,000 to 15,000 years old I think mm -hmm. and we saw a couple pictures briefly but it looks like they're of animals, maybe a, an asteroid or a comet or something, uh, a hand, so different things like that. Which is interesting along with the giant sloth bones that we saw and paleontologists really haven't been in there that much. They've just started doing these excavations so there should be a ton more. There are probably a bunch of giant sloths down there and Incredible. who knows what else. Uh, Saber-toothed tigers, if you caught that ancient arm prehistoric armadillos <laughs> it's another world so even though the first two spots we tried to go to today did not work out it actually worked out maybe for the best because we were able to do that and we really enjoyed it i'm sure everything here is cool in its own way but we have a lot more to see we are headed to our next destination and we'll tell you about it when we arrive Once we saw it, we knew that we had to come to this area of Brazil just to stay here. <laughs> so, so, I can't wait. We're almost there. Bunch of Coco Non Gelatos. Alright, we have arrived. We are very excited about this. And if you want to see what very, very interesting place we're staying at, you're gonna have to see in the next video. Gonna have to wait till tomorrow, but <laughs> promise you it will be worth it. So subscribe so that you have notifications on. You're gonna wanna see this. See you tomorrow. Do you want postcards from around the world? Right now we are writing and drawing on postcards from all around the world. And if you want to support the channel and become a patron, then join Patreon down below. So in the description you'll see Patreon, and it's there that you can join where you can get postcards like this. We're going to write on them for you, and you might even be able to get some small souvenirs from everywhere we travel around the world. So, Patreon down below. Thank you to all the patrons who have already joined. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you. See you in the next one.